Everyone, we are Geese Not Nerds. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Dan. Hello, Dan. Hey. Dan, today I want to talk some more about Star Wars. Uh, but before you say that's all you guys ever talk about anymore. And boy, I never thought I'd see the day where Geek Fallujah, all you ever talk about is, well, Dan is regularly on Geeks Not Nerds now, so, you know. Um, I do like Star Wars. And, uh, and Dan is so much more into a re Star Wars resurgence these days because Star Wars is back in a big way and there's a lot to there's a lot to consume now in the best way possible yeah you know, a lot of the stuff they're putting out is really great so i'm really excited about star wars right now what i want to talk about today dan and i barely prepped dan on this uh what i want to what i want to talk to dan about today uh is um the uh weird initial lack of ray in toys and then this odd talk that's been going around lately that Rey may actually not be as important as people think she is, uh, and that um, and that uh, the people working on those movies and the merchandising people and stuff, and this is somewhat rumor mill ter territory, but I've heard a lot of this talk lately, that a lot of those people might be surprised by how popular what I thought the protagonist of that movie has gotten, and uh, I just think this is absolutely fascinating. Fascinating. Um, have you heard this? Yeah, I've heard. I'm not sure I buy any of it, but I'm not sure I do either. And I hope it's not true because that's so weird. Because um, we'll start there. Here's the thing: if it turns out that there there have been big sweeping rewrites and stuff with eight, because. Um, because there was because uh, uh, the people working on that movie were surprised that, and what I heard was surprised that Ray, Poe, and Finn were as popular as they were. That looked like the main cast to me. I don't know, guys. Um, but if it turns out that uh, that, that that's the case, and that they've made uh, big sweeping rewrites to give those characters more screen time, then they're kind of, that, that's kind of going to straight up tell us everything we need to know about this entire. Uh, new trilogy, right? That Ky Kylo Ren is the main character. Yeah, I mean, I've listened to interviews with Abrams, and he made it very clear that when they were planning this movie, Ray was the first character he thought of as being the protagonist of three movies, so I don't buy any of these rumors at all. But if we're, like, speculating from that point, yeah, yeah I mean, that's interesting. Well, I hope that's uh, not true. I just think that's really bizarre. Yeah, it's really that bizarre. people are talking about um, that. Yeah. I, I don't think any of that's true. I mean, they okay. uh, I hope they, they do some reshoots. That's true, but I think people are just um, speculating, taking the toy thing and running wildly with their Blowing that out of the Well, and that's why I wanted to talk about that because the toy thing is not about that. Um, the mm. toy thing, from from what I've read in, and this is not rumor mill territory, and I'll try to leave a link to articles I've read, um, is very much about companies thinking that, uh, and this goes way back, um, this this mentality in kind of uh, toy sales in general that um, bo simply boys don't want to play with girl toys, and this has been a problem with a lot of characters. Um, there was a playset with uh, Age of Ultron. That I uh, that that was recreating the scene with Black Widow on a motorcycle, and that set does not include Black Widow. That's really strange. Recreates yeah. that scene. I think they put Hawkeye on it. Uh, I forget, but I mean, like, but it's clearly that scene. Uh, it's the motorcycle, and I think it's even still got like Captain America's shield on on the front of it. And oh, uh, weird. yeah, and you know, it's that scene where she's going after that truck, and uh, it's like, why is she not in there? Um, there's a lot of things that have come to light lately that all of this apparently really is because um, b because uh, the toy companies are worried that if they put out. We're talking, we're talking Mattel and you know, you know, you know, um, um, all these action figure companies especially. Uh, but just in general, this idea that if you put out uh, action figures of girls, boys won't play with them. And I think there may have been a time, damn, when that was true. But I think that's because when I was growing up, there weren't as many uh, female action heroes. Mm. Yeah, it's an interesting question. I mean. 
I don't know how credible the studies are, but and this is kind of different categories of toys, not necessarily action figures, but I've yeah. heard that like they've done experiments where they put toys designed for girls traditionally like dolls and then like, you know, toy guns and things like that and like cages and with um apes and seeing like which ones they gravitate towards and like the male ones gravitate towards the ones that are designed for boys and vice versa. Um but if we're talking about ma- like action figures that are female, I don't know if maybe there's market analysis to suggest that's true, that the girl toys sell less so it's not worth making them to the companies? I don't know. Um, it's an interesting question to ask. Because, like, I don't know, like, I- I'm kind of skeptical of the fact that there's some, like, patriarchal conspiracy in the toy industry that, like, you know, there's there's some sort of sex- sexist bias towards Ray necessarily. Um, some people think that's what it is. I-, I think they're seeing the outcome and assuming intent based on the outcome. There might be something else at play. I don't know. I think... If anything, their excuses saying, um, you know, we didn't want to spoil the movie are bunk and I don't buy those either. So there, there's something larger at play and I, I, they just don't want to admit it. I don't know what it is. What do you, yeah. what do you think? Well, I'll, I'll, uh, and I should have done this before the show. I'll, I'll send you an article I read that um, that had some pretty concrete um, information that they're, like like from insiders, that uh, there really was apparent. I, like, I couldn't believe this either, Dan, but apparently, um, and I think uh, who's, who's primarily making those action figures? Is, is it Mattel? It's, it's Hasbro. It's Hasbro, yeah. yeah. Um, that that uh, there was a mandate that was set before Force Awakens came out that was um, don't put uh, because because apparently um, there were originally this is what it was there were originally like blueprints for for uh, like 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 sketches and stuff excuse me for um, for Ray figures and it was it, and and uh, they were told from on high oh you can't put those out. Right away, um, and and I uh, and the big tell for me um, is that uh, the and, and this is this is changing now because the whole universe freaked out about it. It's a simple supply and demand thing. She's the main character of that movie. A lot of people really liked her. She spoke to people. People wanted merchandise about it. merchandise is not no, always an evil mm. thing. People want it. You know, people love that character. Right. They want to collect it. And they want her. And um, but the big tell for me was that uh, there was like uh, a, a, a pictures of um, the uh, prototypes for the uh, Monopoly set based on that game. And of all the characters in the Monopoly set, she's not there. Yeah, that's weird. That makes no sense. And, um, it, it, uh, and yeah, that was the excuse. But from what I've read, Dan, it looks like it really was just an excuse. Uh, and that um, this, is, uh, this has been kind of just regular protocol for a really long time. The problem with looking at studies is that if for all this time we've not really been putting out a lot of um, female characters uh, in action figure lines, you know, obviously there, 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 are, there are some. I'm not saying we've never done it. Um, but, uh, but like if for a long time we put out a lot more male action figures than we do female action figures, um, then how would you even know? Because we don't, you know, there's not, there's, not, there's not enough for people to buy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't... I... There's there has to be some sort of reason, um, market-wise, why they don't think they'll sell, whether it's based on data or not. You know, it could be just from some sort of assumption, like you're saying, like oh, yeah, I want to play with toys that are female, it's even just... if they're toys that are traditionally aimed at them. I mean, I don't know. It, it's it's tough to say because you you don't really know who's calling the shots at that point. Like, yeah. is it the people at Lucasfilm saying Hasbro don't make Ray figures? Is it the people uh, at the high ups at Hasbro saying... Well, that's a good point, and it sure sounded more like it was Hasbro. And again, we are kind of working on hearsay. Obviously, we're not journalists, and we're not reporting yeah, here. Like, uh, we're just... Were the, was this like the New York Times? Like, how crowd credible were these sources? This is from Forbes. Okay. Oh, and, okay. Yeah, Forbes and, is... And this is... Cool. Now, this is from an anonymous insider... Um, okay. Interviewed by, but, but this is what Forbes says. Uh, it, it, the anonymous insider who spilled the beans on the scandal spoke with uh, the blog Sweatpants and Coffee, and here's what apparently transpired. In January 2015, a number of toy and merchandise vendors dis- descended on Lucasfilm's Letterman Center in San Francisco. In a series of confidential meetings, the vendors presented their product ideas to tie in with the highly anticipated new Star Wars films. Representatives presented, pitched, discussed, and agreed upon prototype products. The seeds. <laughs> 
unofficial or, or um, unintentional alliteration, Dan. The seeds of the controversies Lucasfilm is facing regarding the marketing and merchandising of The Force Awakens were sown in those meetings, according to this insider. Uh, the insider who was at those meetings described how initial versions of many of the products presented to Lucasfilm featured Rey prominently. Uh, at first, discussions were positive, but as the meetings wore on... Oh, so it sounds like this is a Lucasfilm thing. Um, one or more individuals raised concerns about the presence of female characters in the Star Wars products. Eventually, the product vendors were specifically directed to exclude the Rey character from all Star Wars-related merchandise, said the insider. We know what sells, the industry insider was told. No boy wants to be given a product with a female character on it. Hmm, interesting. Right? Um, you see why I felt the need to bring this up? Yeah, I mean, I still question that credibility because it's an anonymous insider and Absolutely. Forbes got their source from a blog called Sweatpants. No, uh, I'm with you. I'm with you. But if you just but if you just look at... Yeah, so I don't know how much stock we can take in that. However, it is really weird just how... Um, uh, not present that character was, and this has been a building problem with other... Ma There's not been nearly enough Black Widow merchandise, and she's a major character in those movies. It's really strange. Yeah, I'd be interested to know who at Lucasfilm calls the shots on the merchandise, because um, Kathleen Kennedy's ahead of Lucasfilm, and obviously she's a woman, and That's would have point. an interest in female characters being a thing, and, you know, I think in the discussion she had with Abrams, that was one of the things they wanted to do, was, you know create a character that lived into the legacy of Leia, you know, being a strong female character. Leia um, was unique for her time, and, you know, making a protagonist of, of, of the new trilogy, uh, you know, was, was a big deal for them. Um, I don't know if she was involved in those talks. Uh, if she was, it's strange to me that she would say things like that. Um, but I think, you know, the reason Disney bought Star Wars and Marvel was to uh, target a demographic that they didn't have a hold on before, uh, which was childhood boys. Yeah. And that's what they were aiming at. Like, they, oh, that's I, I don't point. think it was just like some sort of, like, all, all signs do not point to a sexist conspiracy like, you know, the, the people at Lucasfilm are Hasbro hate women, so there's no raid products. Oh, and understand, and that, is not, that is not that is not what I'm saying. At all. No, I'm um, not saying that's what you were saying. I've just heard people say that, and I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, here's um, the thing. This is a thing that I felt the need to bring up because um, because I have always been irritated by this gender gap in toys specifically. Uh, this is not a sexist thing mm -hmm. in the sense of, like, somebody hates girls or whatever. Uh, this is an issue of, I don't like that you go to the store and there's a couple of, like, really, really bright pink aisles and then and then a couple of, uh, like, really obviously, like, manly looking aisles and there's this clear separation of what girls are supposed to buy and like and what boys are supposed to buy and like. And I think that is ridiculous. Uh, I also think that it's important to uh, keep in mind that um, we have so much of a blur now, and this is a good thing, um, of, uh, of, of, of of diversity of the different kinds of heroes that um, that we have that uh, I don't think it's been true for a very long time, at least 20 years, uh, that there aren't plenty of female protagonists that would appeal to, to, to boys and that boys get excited about. Um, we've had Xena and Buffy and Black Widow and all, and all these different characters since oh, yeah. then. Yeah, um, so, so I'm just saying that, that like, that, like um, at, at, First of all, people being irritated that Ray was excluded, I think it's going too far to say there's some kind of sexist conspiracy, but I do think that um, it's understandable that people were annoyed at that for the very simple fact that she's the protagonist of the movie. No, um, I, 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 I agree with you. I, I'm in full agreement that it's ridiculous that she wasn't included. I just, I'm just trying to see, like, from the perspective of the company, that's what their aim was. They were trying to serve a market, and I think in large part they failed. And they simply so failed, yeah. And, and, and that's what I'm saying is that I probably sound irritated. I think this is wonderful that it happened because it's going to change the landscape of all this yeah, in, yeah, in, in yeah, a right. positive way. And, and I've always been a proponent too. Like, I don't think you need to line up with someone in any sort of identity other than the fact that they're a human being. They have a personality you like to relate to them. Yes. Um, you don't need to be the same race, sex, whatever as them to find them to be interesting and like you and sympathetic. Like, obviously, there are clear differences between men and women, of course, and the life experiences different people have based on their identities and things like that. But like. 
I look at a character like Finn and I'm like, that guy's cool too, you know? Um, I, I look at all kinds of characters that aren't like me and I find things that are admirable, admirable about them. So I think it's totally warranted that, you know, boys could look at Rey and think she's really cool and like her and be their favorite character. Yeah, or even... Regardless of the fact that she's a girl, she's awesome. Yeah, you know? or maybe they personally relate to her because they weren't raised by their biological parents either. Exactly. Or, I mean, uh, she's because the they feel like so she's kind of our eyes into this universe. That's right. right. Well, she's supposed to be the everyman. She just happens to be female. Right, um, exactly. Yeah. No, no, that's great. Um, so I don't know. I just wanted to mention it because uh, I, and I, I mean, I like, like, and and I, I guess the, the the larger question here and the big thing I wanted to ask you, Dan, is do you think that that uh, that separation is a problem, like 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 I'm suggesting it is, um, and that we should have more of a um, in, in that, in that we should have just more of an accepting attitude that like kids ought to get to play with what they want to play with. Um, like, like yeah, I, I mean, I think clearly boys and girls are interested in different kinds of things. Yes. Um, but yeah, I'm with you. I mean, we don't necessarily have to have you know pink and blue aisles so distinctly separated. I guess. I mean, you know, if a girl likes Star Wars, bring her on the aisle and buy the toys. I mean, you know, just a. I just don't think the signs are stopping very many people if their daughter likes Star Wars in the first place, uh, or it maybe, shouldn't. Maybe know? not, but I do think there are also kind of some stigmas, and that. Sure. Um, yeah. It, and that's all I'm saying is that like I'm just thinking about the kids, and that kids yeah, yeah, are yeah, sure. kids are growing up and being told you're supposed to play with this or you're supposed to play with this, and um, we're seeing those lines blurring in uh, what it's being more socially acceptable for those kids to be enjoying in the first place. Mm, yeah. That should be coming with the merchandising also. That's all I'm saying. No, I agree with you. Um, and so this seems like a very positive thing. I mean, I'm glad it's happening. Um, yeah, if anything, I think in the future with merchandising, it should just be appropriate reverence for the thing you're merchandising rather than make, serving to the characters that are in the movie. Necessarily, right? Because yeah. like both ways, it's, it's sort of ridiculous. Um, yeah. You know, catering to boys or girls in such a specific way, just, like, if there's something that, uh, you know, especially for a movie that you're making merchandise of, just make cool stuff based on the movie, and, you know, people will buy it. Especially a Star Wars thing. You know, that's kind of a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Im importantly, you know, I understand business strategy. Uh, th yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, this isn't This isn't one of those things where I'm saying you need to you, you need to do, you know, you know what what obviously people... Like, because like, the whole point is they have to make what's going to sell. They're, 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 they're you know, because um, you know, either they're to make money, but more than that, that that stuff's expensive, and you don't want a whole bunch of stuff. You'd hate you'd hate to be Green Lantern again. Oh yeah, exactly. You know? and I Look mean, at all I, the stuff they made that nobody bought because that movie wasn't popular. And I mean, like that was wonderfully merchandised, and there were some great figures. No one cared. That sucks for them, right? Like, oh like, like. God. So, so what I'm saying is, you have to speculate. You have to guess at what's going to be in demand, and hope to God you made enough. Um, you know, that's really important. But I can't. But I'm just very surprised that. They, that the people behind that movie, knowing what it was, I mean, Lucasfilm, they'd seen the movie, they knew who it was, they knew, they knew who the main character was, I couldn't believe that they would look at that movie and know what it was and not think there's going to be a big demand for this character, she's going to be popular. Like, I'm just really surprised that they dropped yeah, I, the ball on I, I, that. I, I'm with you, I don't understand that either. It's very strange. Um, I don't really understand the... Um, the not putting the toys out initially either in a Star Wars line because it's not like it's unprecedented to have female Star Wars action figures. Like when I was a kid, I had almost every outfit of Padme and Leia too. <laughs> well, yeah, and I was gonna say, weren't there plenty of Leia figures? There and, was plenty of Leia and Padme Amidala figures. I had all of them when I was a kid. Well, and importantly, uh, some of the some of the uh, Amidala stuff was kind of aimed at little girls as like a little dir yes. a little girl doll collecting thing. But there were also plenty of action figures and things. But Leia, like, like, and it wasn't all just like slave Leia either. Like you had you had plenty no, of just you had, like the hawk outfit. You had yeah. the one the, the the white dress with the buns from A New Hope, and she you know when she's found in the Tana Four. You know, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of yeah the ones with the, you had the disguise with the mask at the beginning of Six. Yeah, so Return of the Jedi disguise. That's an iconic look, too. They used to make a lot of action figures. Yeah. Well, and I had one where, the, you know, the mask comes off and it's clearly lay underneath, and I thought that was really fun. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, so I, I just don't understand. There's got to be something deeper going on um, with the toys, and I hope this proves to be a good example setter where we see these Ray toys just, um, you Fly know, skyrocket the sales. Because yeah. I think... The perception a lot of the time is it, when you live in this internet um, space that we do live in to some degree. Yeah. Um, 
when you see a lot of people start like a hashtag campaign on Twitter, it seems like more uh, more a part of the market than it actually is. Yeah. So I'm hoping that it's not just hashtag activists that demanded this and that they're the only people that buy it or that they just were self-righteous about it and they don't have, end up buying the toys that they were demanding in the first place. I hope that it, they end up selling a lot and then this opens the door for, uh, you know, just putting out toys of everybody that's in cool movies. You know? Yeah, the, 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 reason it, the reason it bugged me so much, and I think maybe it's different than the reason it bugged other people, because again, people jumped on the, on the they're being really sexist bandwagon, but, but for me it was, see, now we're calling too much attention to the gender, and Ray is just a cool character. It doesn't matter what her gender is. I agree, is. yeah. Um, and, and that's what bugged me about it, is that now we have to look at it and say, oh, I hope it sells so that in the future we'll make more characters of women. If we just put the thing out in the first place, it would have sold just fine. I want to collect, like, when, when this came out, I loved that character, and I said, I'm going to collect this character. And then there weren't very many things, and I was like, what? Like, I figured, my, I, I went home and figured, and looked up figures, and I figured that uh, I wouldn't be able to collect it. There'd be too much of it. There will be now. Um, but I was yeah. like, there's no way I can collect this figure, this this character. And then the couple action figures they made, they didn't make enough of, and they were immediately like 65, 75, 100 bucks, and you couldn't get them. And I was like, oh man, that sucks. But it, it, it didn't occur to me until people were posting things later that they, they that they intentionally didn't make very many of them. Uh, but but anyway, so that's my whole thing is that now because this has happened, we have to make it a gender issue. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of um, annoyed by having to look at it through that prism too. I'm with you. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like... Uh, I want to have toys of that character too. Uh, so you know, I th I think it would be really cool to ha make toys of like Ray's staff and make that as cool as like some of the lightsaber toys right. they put out. I don't well, know if that's been made already or what, but that's, like, that's, the, that's something that should happen. That's the point my wife made. Uh, she and I were talking about that, and this is a lot of the reason Dan that I wanted to do this conversation because my wife and I had a really good conversation. On it. I was like, I got to get Dan and I on this. I think it's interesting. Um, Sarah and I were talking about this, and uh, because the, the, there was originally that excuse that they put out that we talked about that um, that uh, oh we don't want to give away anything. Um, Which was bogus, I think. You just don't pack her with the lightsaber. You don't spoil anything. Well, and what my wife said was she was like, well, she already has a signature weapon before the lightsaber. She's got that staff. Just give her the staff. Yeah, exactly. And the couple figures they did make have the staff. Yeah. So, I don't yeah, know. It wasn't that. Admittedly, I haven't looked too hard at the like six inch action figures they put out because I used to have a huge collection of those figures and they unfortunately were thrown away at some point and uh, didn't get to hang on to them. So I kind of stopped because if I fall down that rabbit hole again, I'm just going to money. Well, and I mean, just wait because you know in, in October that that Halloween costume will be freaking everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, considered falling down the rabbit hole of just buying every Kylo Ren thing I get my hands on, and he's the most heavily marketed thing out of all. Right? Uh, but, it, but anyway, um, I would assume that Finn was the one packaged with the lightsaber because they marketed that movie like he was the one that's going to be wielding the I lightsaber. I think he may have sometimes had one. Yeah, well, and, and of course, if you're not careful, you might end up having nobody but the bad guy with a lightsaber uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty easily. That's true, yeah. Well, anyway, um, this may sound like like a little bit more um, political than we usually go on this show, um, but yeah. uh, like I said, I didn't bring this up as, oh, how dare they, they're being all sexist. I brought it up as, A, it sucks that they did it in the first place, mostly because I'm selfish and I wanted that character, and B, no, I, I'm with you. And B yeah. because um, it, it's, it, because it, as I said, it, like, 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 then it turned into a gender thing, and it totally didn't have to be, and that's really unfortunate. She's just really, well, so, so I guess what I'm saying is, then it's then, then this could potentially could be a really positive thing, because we should just make the characters that are in the movie and see who buys them. <laughs> it should be that simple. It's right? that simple, yeah, exactly. Um, but yes, uh, little boys, if you love that character, no one should make fun of you just because she's a girl. It makes no sense. And Daisy really is a gorgeous woman. Any There's that too. Any any young boy that likes Ray has very good taste. That's all <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> uh, everybody, thanks as always for watching. And uh, if you have any opinion on uh, just uh, toy marketing in general and this uh, th this this kind of divide that I feel like I see, so, and not not with everything. There's certainly um, toys that are marketed toward both. But this is a but but there are stigmas that are created, and, and it's a thing that I, I, I yeah I, I'm speaking I from experience. Maybe... It's a thing that I noticed growing up and and I and, and not even so much from my end but from girls that I knew who felt like they couldn't play with action figures and stuff and I hated that. Oh yeah, that that's dumb. Uh, and maybe it's an I mean 
Uh, action figures, I haven't bought them for a very long time. I'm not really engrossed in the industry. I buy one every now and again, but Me I too. just don't spend a lot of money. I don't, I'm not really a toy collector. But um, maybe it's just a thing with Hasbro, uh, because people really freaked out about the Black Widow merchandising. It, the Hasbro and Disney thing, because people, people freak You're out about right. Black Widow not being in the merchandising for any of the Avengers stuff, which I'm with you. Like, you know, Black Widow should be there. She's one of the main team members. Of, uh, that's strange she's not there. She's and been there since the beginning. Red. I mean... Two of the same companies making the same mistake. I mean, maybe this is just their behavior and people have extended it to the whole industry because those are the two biggest toy properties in and, the universe. And that would be... I mean, that might be something to agree with, too. I, I mean, and that I would be know. irresponsible. I mean, it's not like... Um, you, you know, it's it's not it's not like when they put out Ninja Turtle figures, they're, scra they're, they're skimp on April. You yeah, know, I mean, it's, they, may, maybe it's a problem people have seen but that I'm not aware of in other in franchises other and toy companies. Yeah. But I just think it's interesting that the two biggest issues people have had, and I'm with them, I think there's a legitimate grievance there. Yeah. Um, but maybe it's one company. It's with those two companies specifically, yeah. you know? No, that's a really good point. I mean, because, uh, like I said, I'm thinking about other properties that are even out, like, right around right now. And like I said, I'm not seeing it as much. I mean, I'm not seeing it with everything, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, mm. I'm certainly not... Uh, you're not going to have this problem with DC and Wonder Woman. No, definitely not. You know? Um, it, like, I guarantee you, she'll have an action figure with Batman versus Superman. Um, and when Captain Marvel comes out, probably already does. they're going to market that. Um, well, that and of course, the actual female-led stuff, you know, you have to. Yeah, exactly. um, and see, I'm hoping they put out a Supergirl line, because uh, that's a show that actually has <laughs> costumes and looks like comic book costumes, and then you need to have a Martian Manhunter and um, you, you, yeah. know, you know that stuff and, and obviously um, we don't have this problem with the other uh, DC superhero shows either because uh, like you know I, they've, they've merchandised the crap out of Sarah Lance um, I, I, I'm cool. behind I haven't even bought all her figures yet so um, so yeah th this is not me saying uh, no girls ever get made um, but, uh, but it was a problem with Ray and if it is a problem with other things this might be a thing that fixes the market because again simple supply and demand thing um, the the uh, the universe, you know, reacted, and uh, it looks like there, there's, there's going to be, you know, a positive reaction. I mean, from, from the, from the retailer. So, so that's. Good. I think so too. Uh, the prism in which some people viewed it sort of annoyed me at first. Like totally was, fair. Like, yeah. like we talked about the the narrative that um, we, we were speaking about before, and um, I don't necessarily agree with that, but I think their their grievance was legitimate, and it seems like. Even though I don't necessarily agree with where they were coming from to that degree, it looks like it's going to have a positive effect in the industry. So I think all is well, and we're going to get some cool race stuff, hopefully. Um, uh, you know, I'm really excited because I got my uh, Ray Disney Infinity figure coming in the mail, and I can't oh, wait to see. play this in there. Obviously, that's the one I If I get nothing else. Well, okay, there's three. I want, I want Vader because, because Disney Infinity Vader is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like he like he he like he stick he puffs his chest out like Gaston from yeah, he does. like 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 um uh, uh Beauty and the Beast that's hilarious um but yeah. also I uh, I want their Darth Maul because uh, that's like weirdly one of the coolest versions of Darth Maul right like. It is. It's like Phantom Menace Darth Maul where he doesn't appear to have robot legs. He uses his double bladed lightsaber. And he talks all the time. And he never stops talking! Yeah, he's great! He's just villain posturing all the time! Uh, and then Ray. I gotta have Ray. Yeah, and of course, I had to have Kylo Ren. He's, oh, uh, there he the is. I bought, he uh, looks like, good! Out of the uh, starter pack, and he's he's awesome. Boy, those figures have all been really good looking. Um, they're statues before they're figures, but they're awesome. Yeah, I've got the two play sets um, that didn't come in the uh, starter pack, come in the mail, so obviously I'll have um, Luke, Leia... Uh, Finn and Ray, in addition to Ahsoka, Anakin, and um, and Kylo Ren. At the very least, I have to say, in the Disney Infinity line, every playset includes a female character. So That's a good point. Maybe, maybe it's a Hasbro thing. Who knows? Oh, and you know what? Pop figures didn't have that problem. They put a Ray out right away. That's true. Yeah. I the more and more we talk about this, it seems to me to be an issue, possibly with Hasbro. Um, and that's it. Because yeah. like, why would um, you know? Disney be opposed to putting a female character in every video game set that they're selling as opposed to, like, you know, the Ray figures. I mean, I don't know. It's strange. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess because they're, like, you know, girls I mean, it's, it's a different market, so maybe it's a different um, demographic they're skewing at. I don't know. Yeah. But. 
Who knows? Well, anyway, uh, once again, you know, we keep doing this. It's like, see you later, and then we're still talking. Uh, yeah, but it, it, it just keep, keeps going. I mean, you, you were right. I mean, when we when we first started this, I was like, I don't know anything about this, but you're like, follow my lead. You'll have things to say, and you were you were right. <laughs> yeah, no, I knew I would be. I was like, don't worry, Dan. Trust me. And Dan gave me this look like I don't. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, but yeah, yeah, this this was good stuff. Thanks, Dan. Uh, everybody, thanks again for watching, and uh, please leave your comments. Uh, we we explored this a lot and started off in a place of we don't know what exactly we're talking about, and turned into a little bit more of here's what it is. So um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> here's what that's, it is. Yeah. Magic <laughs> yeah, that's what it turned into. So anyway, um, th thanks for exploring it with me. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, be sure and uh, tune in again next week when we will uh, chat uh, about something else. And we'll see you later. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Dan reminding you to support your local comic book and or action figure store. <laughs> Toy store. One of those two. It's like, because there's like action, like comic book stores. <laughs> only, you're like, uh, well, a comic book store usually also has action figures there. That's true. That is true.